So thank you for helping push this through the House of Representatives. I do believe it was a historic day, and I don't think in your many years of Congress had you voted on such a wide-ranging piece of, of legislation when it comes to personal protection. Exactly. It's a long time coming, and I'm certainly glad that the House of Representatives first brought up the bill, and then we had good debate on it, and I'm glad uh, that it passed. When we uh, the vote came to the floor and I spoke, uh, I took a the constitutional issue uh, very strong and, it, and tried to convince uh, my friends the reason there's a Second Amendment anyway. And the purpose, of course, uh, was designed uh, after the uh, American Revolution, when the revolution actually started at Lexington and Concord, when the British tried to take away the firearms of the uh, colonials. And that started the war. And when we put the Second Amendment uh, in the Constitution, our forefathers and framers, they put it there for two reasons. One, to protect us from government, and second, for self-defense. A lot of my liberal friends don't want to believe the historical significance of the Second Amendment, but it's important to protect us from government. And it's second because it's there also, in my opinion, to protect the First Amendment, the five rights in the First Amendment, uh, we can guarantee those by uh, the Second Amendment. So uh, it, it's important that you be able to, a uh, person be able to can carry a, a firearm across state lines. It, it, it just makes so much sense. Uh, I can drive my I can drive my Jeep uh, to Louisiana if I have a, uh, an inspection sticker and I, and I have a driver's license. Uh, those are not obviously are not rights that you have in the Constitution, but because it's registered, because have a driver's license. It's a constitutional right. It absolutely is. And, you know, you bring up the historical significance of the Second Amendment. I actually believe that during the American Revolution and we were trying to gain our independence from England, there may have been 80 percent of, of, of the colony that said, oh, maybe this isn't a fight that we need to wage. And the other 10 or 20 percent said no, and they stood up. And it's those small vocal voices that take our rights so seriously that protect the rights of everyone else. And to me, it's OK, but it just goes to show you there's historical significance of groups like the NRA, strong supporters of conservative thinking like yourself, of it's our duty to push these things forward. No question about it. We have the obligation in a free society to be active in the free society or we will lose it. And we have seen even in our lifetime how uh, totalitarian governments have uh, suppressed and oppressed the people because of uh, the people were not active in their government. And one thing that totalitarian governments ex historically have done throughout the centuries is disarm the people. And uh, we have to be careful that we, we don't let that philosophy ever come into uh, our country where the people are disarmed by our nation.